going to take some time. The violence Friday, Sunday, and even Tuesday was fresh on the minds of county residents that I spoke to who say they're just a little bit more reluctant about heading into the city. It's been a violent year for Baltimore City, with the murders on track to pass 300 by the end of the year. It has those looking from the outside in questioning how often they actually need to go into the city. I believe everyone is more cautious when they go into the city now, um, which is unfortunate because we used to go down to dinner in the city weekly. Now we don't. And Mary Sanders is not alone. Those who do say they're a little more on edge when they make that trip down I-83. Take Lenwood Hall, for example. He lives in Baltimore County, but his 16-year-old daughter goes to school in the city. So I'm always nervous. I'm nervous for my daughter. I'm nervous for my family, nervous for my friends, and I hope that when they do travel down there that nothing happens to them. Hall says this with the thoughts of five people shot Friday, a 9-year-old girl hit Sunday, and a separate quintuple shooting Tuesday fresh on his mind. <laughs> Baltimore City. I'm scared. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm scared. The nervousness is still there. It's just sometimes the people just going around this shooting. I'd be scared to come into town too. It's a matter of being aware of the past to move on to a better future. At least that's how Anthony Presley sees it. In spite of the image of the city, we have to hold on to the good news and especially infuse it in the children so that they don't grow up thinking that everything is negative and everything is bad and things are hopeless. And he says it has to start from the ground up. And we cannot allow the image to become our reality. Our reality is that we still have smart children, we still have strong families, we still have a great city, and that has to be the image that we teach our children. Now there's an outdoor library just down the street and to my right what will soon be known as the Peace Park here all to inspire that next generation something Presley sees as the key to at least making a dent in that image problem. Reporting live from historic Druid Heights, Omar Jimenez, WBAL, TV 11 News.